Good morning everybody. Today I am going to finish talking about hydrogen. So it's time to put this subject to bed. So I'm doing, but first I need coffee. My horrible mother has taken away the coffee machine from the house that I live in and, and now I am on caffeine life support effectively. That's why I'm slurring my words. Luckily the cafe is still open for a few more weeks. And then that is gonna close and I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to get my own coffee machine. That's obviously the only viable solution to this otherwise intractable problem. Talking of intractable problems, that's basically what the whole sort of hydrogen thing is. And I've tried to mention this, uh, you know, a, a few times, trying to explain it. And it's, um, I bumped across a video by uh, Sabine Hossenfelder uh, called Why Hydrogen Will Not Save Us. And she is a, a scientist, you know, a proper one, not, you know, not an armchair tech enthusiast like myself, but uh, an actual dyed in the wool scientist. And she explains in no uncertain terms what the problems and challenges are with hydrogen and why they are not really fixable, honestly. So yeah, I strongly encourage people to check out her video. Wow, I'm being covered in little thunder bugs, which actually yeah. makes sense because it's gonna be thunder tomorrow, apparently. Day of my mum's party. Happy birthday, by the way. At least the coffee problem is solved. Did you tell them that I'd take it? Yeah, or? yeah. My mum <laughs> took my coffee machine. She's gloating. It's not your coffee machine. No, that's true. Technically, it wasn't my coffee machine. But I was the one who used it the most and cared for it the most. It, seriously, that coffee machine and me, we were tight. <laughs> I hope I've not knackered my old lead acid solar generators. When I turned them on, they said um, super low voltage. The problem is I, I haven't charged them at all, like over winter, which is fairly common, I suppose. But, you know, I mean, what are we in now? July, and this is the first time I've actually had them out and plugged in, so, hmm. Lead acid batteries don't like to go really low. The voltage is only about 10 volts, which is, that's not good news, that isn't. I have a feeling they might be done for. Batteries are about 10 years old, so I have had my use out of them. But, uh, you yeah, know, should have been more diligent with my charging. So I can't wait for proper solid state, high capacity batteries. Yes, that's what we need. We'll get there. And then people can stop going on about hydrogen. So anyway, yeah, check out the video. I hope you've, you know, if you've, uh, already seen it then great i thought it was really well done well researched informative and um really highlighted the intractability of the issues because it's not that you know it's not that it's unusable it's just that there's always a better alternative no matter what it is you're trying to do there's almost always a better way to do it a more efficient way to do it a cheaper way to do it a way to do it that's actually better for the environment um yeah, I mean, about the only thing that hydrogen will really excel at, as far as I can see, is enriching petrochemical businesses. So, that's why I'm not keen. Right, anyway, I'm going to go do some editing, and then I'm, uh, I've got some work to do. And then after that, I'm going off to get Jasper from his school, so that he can be at my mum's party tomorrow. So, yay, bit of a full day, better crack on. Got the car cooled down. Or at least it's cooling down, you'll be able to hear it in a sec. It's quite a noisy old beast, but it's better than getting to a hot car. And uh, now I'm off to go get Jasper. Today's a bit of a kind of mad running aroundy kind of day, which is partly why I chose to rag on hydrogen a bit more. Because uh, I basically, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna, you know, go through what was said in this, uh, in this video too much. I would like you guys to see it if you have any interest in knowing why hydrogen is a bad idea. Um, because this woman did a very good, very balanced appraisal of the situation, which is many of the things that I've talked about in the past. Basically, however you look at it, hydrogen is just not gonna save us. Need to have a quick stop for coffee though en route. And yes, I absolutely did leave the climate control on because it's boiling today. 
It's a shame it's not going to be like this tomorrow. Apparently it's going to be thunderstorms for my mum's party. So, huh. yeah, this would have been perfect weather. But anyway, maybe it'll be better than the weatherman says. It often is. Hi everybody, I've got just for now. I'm heading home. It's been a busy old day. It's going to be another few busy days. So, yeah. Uh, you know what? I am supremely confident that hydrogen is not the way forward for more or less anything and having watched the the video uh sabine's video it it completely confirmed you know everything i already knew and thought about the subject um you know if there's something i'm missing about how wonderful hydrogen will be something that isn't just hoping that it'll be good because that's the thing you see i think most of the people that are proponents of hydrogen basically just hope that it can get there because they like something about like you know a lot of people like the fact that you can just fill a tank with it and then do a bunch of miles and then fill a tank and do a bunch more miles just the same way they can with a petrol or diesel car but that isn't you know that's the bit that actually would work reasonably well the problem is that the fuel is very expensive very difficult to handle and very unlikely to come from a clean source certainly anytime soon so yeah it's not i i can't see it i just don't you know maybe there's something i'm missing toyota seem to think there is i think what toyota have got actually is a fairly large wadge of cash from the japanese government and they're perfectly happy for the japanese government to be all in on hydrogen because you know toyota is the only game in town or certainly the biggest game in town when it comes to hydrogen whereas if the japanese government was fully bought on the idea of electric vehicles and batteries in particular then they might cozy up to certain other manufacturers who have made more efforts in that department i don't know i think it's it, it, it something smells a bit funny about that one anyway uh, I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. I'm going to call it to an end now because I'm going to go grab some food with Jazzy, who's acting as my cameraman. Thank you, Jazzy. Um, and, uh, and we want to eat that when we get home rather than, you know, me finish up this video. So I'll do that right now. I hope you've all enjoyed today's post. If you have, remember to leave a like and share it and subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you like. Links in the description. And I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters, because you guys are awesome. And I will see you all in the next episode of my vlog. Bye.